Hey guys, it's me, Matt Rickard, and I'm coming at you with another one of my LEGO candy machines. This time it's my LEGO candy machine version 4. Um, much bigger than my version 3, but it does have the same mechanism as the version 3. Um, this time it doesn't give out uh, gobstoppers. It gives out dumb dumb lollipops, just in smaller versions. And I'll explain that later in the video. So, um, without my rambling on, we could get on this with this video. So, without further ado, I present to you LEGO Candy Machine! Okay guys, so basically this machine again takes pennies. All you have to do is same mechanism as the old one. There's a lever right here. Put a penny in the slot. Push, pull, and you get a dum-dum. This time we got a lemonade dum-dum. Delicious. Try two. We got a Cherry Dum Dum. Fantastic. Now sadly the machine only gives out two Dum Dums, then it has to be reloaded. But that's because much bigger machine, much bigger candy. I will fix that error soon. So now it's time for the reloading. So basically there's a little cap right here on the top that you can take off. It's just made with a 2x2 two two and a 1x4. Or actually a 2x4 and a 1x4 but put together to make a 3x4. And um... It's all together with this 2x4 slim. You reload them in this little pouch right here. By the way, the candies have to be put facing up, and then this one has to be put facing down in order, to, bleh, in order for the machine to properly work. Excuse me. Now it's time to get the monies. Okay, guys, so you need this special key to get the money as well. In my last machine, there was a little piece right in here. It is a two by one and it has two little holes in it to push out a piece in the back and you need that's why you need this key so you can push in the hole and here's this little slot it's just another little L slot I made with some one by sixes and a two by four and a two by six uh, no two by eight actually my mistake if you want to build this then you would need to make something like this. It'd have to be a flat piece and then a limb flat piece in order for it to lock in and no one would be able to grab it. But anyway, to get the candy out, all you would need to do is pour it out and now you have your money. So now it's time for the mechanism. Alright guys, so in here you can see a jumble of everything. Um, same version as last time. Um, except this piece is holding this down instead of a flat piece holding it down. So that's good use. Um, much bigger handle grab. And as you can see in the end here, this is what stops the machine from going in. Or actually, it's this. It can't fully go in. But that's what grabs this little piece. This little piece hooks on to this flat 1x6 over here and pulls it backward. So I'll show you that right now. So if the machine was like this, this grabbing hand would pull it back and the candy would be pushed down into this slot right here. So how it works is normally without this little piece right here, the entire machine would just malfunction and this piece would go over here. So a penny is required. The penny rides on this rail right here, pushes in. Oops. Sorry, it's on an angle, so give me a sec. The penny is on this angle right here and uses this ramp to be pushed down. If this ramp wasn't here, the penny would just fall into the candy slot. Okay, I'm back. Technical difficulties, sorry about that. So the coin would push this lever back and there. this is just for instance. A candy would be right here. <laughs> Sorry. The lever is here, which then pulls this arm back, which the candy's already fallen in. Pulls the arm back, and the candy falls down into the hole. As I told you in the beginning of this video, it's a bit kinky, but, you know, there's errors in everyone's machines. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this candy machine. 
and smash that like button. It really helps. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.